Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice math problem? And what is given here? We can multiply 3 times 3, that's 9. And from here, x times x give us x squared, which is equals to x over 3. Then here, when we cross multiply from here, 9 times 3 here give us 27 which is equals to x squared times x here and that gives us x raised to power 3 then from here we can equally bring x raised to power 3 to this side then this becomes 27 minus x raised to power 3 now equals to 0 from here then we can equally write 27 as 3 raised to power 3 then minus x raised to power 3 equals to 0 on this side and from what we have here this follows from this identity a cube minus b cube equals to here we can write it as a minus b then into bracket a square plus a b plus b squared that is here what we have now becomes 3 minus x then into bracket 3 square plus 3 times x there give us 3x then plus x square now equals to 0 from here then here same thing as 3 minus x then into bracket here we have 3 squared 9 then let's rearrange this gives us x squared plus 3x plus 9 close bracket equals to 0 from here that is the two cases here are 3 minus x equals to 0 or we have x squared plus 3x plus 9 equals to 0. And from this side, taking minus x here, become plus x. So it implies that we have 3 equals to x, which is also the same thing as x equals to 3. So we have a resolution on this side. Then from here, using the formula x equals to minus b, plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a where a here is 1 b here is 3 and c here is 9 from here this formula becomes x equals to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 3 square minus 4 times 1 times 9 then over 2 times 1 and which becomes x equals to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 3 square here we have 9 then minus here 4 times 9 here we have 36 from there then over 2 then here this gives us x equals to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 36 here it was minus 27 then over 2 then I separate this as x equals to minus 3 plus or minus square root of 9 times 3 times minus 1 over 2 and here it implies that we have x equals to minus 3 plus or minus root 9 times root 3 times root minus 1 over 2 and here root 9 is 3 then root minus 1 is complex which is i so that means here we have x now equals to minus 3 plus or minus 3 root 3 i over 2 
So here we have two complex solutions on this side. Then, if here this is x1, the first solution here is 3. So x2 here, from what we have, from here, one of them, we have x2 now equals to minus 3 plus 3 root 3i over 2. And the last solution x3 there give us minus 3 minus 3 root 3i over 2. So here we have these three solutions here to this given problem. So thank you for watching. Don't forget please step, subscribe to my channel, turn the notification bell on, share this video, give it a thumbs up. And see you next class. Bye for now.